みなさん頑張りなさいあ久しぶりね Today I thought hey it would be a great day to record and look look I kind of set up my space just just enough Just enough right now because I don't have any of the other things to set up with. This is this is a space that I'll be recording in for a while. And I have like a little monitor below my camera, so、I'm、trying to get used to that. Someone asked me to do an update on my extensions.、Um, and it's been about like a year, a little bit over a year now that I've had、um, Rapunzel of Sweden extensions. So, I'm gonna update you on how they're doing,、um, the quality of them,、uh, the color, da da da. So, let's get the extension. So, I got my first set of Rapunzel Sweden extensions, I think, May? May or April of. 2015.、Um, and they're, they're okay, and I really, I really abuse these extensions. I, I always put on like the highest heat and like, this, like curl, I used to curl it with my straining iron all the time, and I really just like, I did everything imaginable with these extensions.、Um, I just like threw them in my, my closet, I, do the, I threw them in my drawer, I cut them, I, I mean, like, I wash them and I dry, like, I hair dry them, stuff like that. So, I mean, they're okay. Whenever, and I brush them too, like, and I don't use like, like a like, wide tooth comb or like a fine tooth comb, I just use like a normal paddle brush, which I probably shouldn't.、Um, but, The ends of them are kind of, they break off really easily now.、Um, and I use a lower heat to straighten them. The color is kind of fading a little bit, which is normal. I mean, they still look really good in my hair. It's just that they obviously, if you use a lot of heat, the more it's going to break, the more. Frizzy ends, it's gonna have, and it just like individually by themselves, they kind of look gross. Oh, when I do wear them out though,、um, they get tangled a lot easier and it's a lot harder to manage. So I have to, like, with these ones, since they're like really old, I have to like braid it or I like I curl it most times. If I wear them with the other set, I just make sure that. I like part my hair down the center and I just like, like, not constantly, but like I just check to make sure that they're not super tangled because I'm pretty sure these have the potential to be dreadlocks. So, oh gosh, I keep dropping it. So,、um, yeah, these definitely have the potential to be dreadlocks if I really want to make them into dreadlocks, but I'm not really into that kind of hairstyle. So, they're just gonna be. I'm just gonna keep wearing them until they completely fall off the base of the clips, I guess, or until chunks of hair i s missing from it. These are my oldest set that I have.、Um, my one just over a year old, like a year and two months. These. And I kept the blonde ones because I did like kind of a rogue, you know, from like X Men. Like I did her kind of hairstyle. It's like half blonde, half black and red, anyway.、Um, so these, the dyed ones, I actually am really, really pleased. I did not like strain them a lot and I didn't brush them a lot, but、um, they, they're in really good shape. The ends aren't, they're not bad at all. Um, the color hasn't faded, and I wash these just as much as I wash the other ones.、Um, but
but with these ones, I actually used serums after I washed them and I let them air dry and then I would like brush them out bottom to top so that way it wouldn't break so bad and I also used a hair mask on them instead of like a conditioner. Here are the old ones. They, they are okay. Um, you can tell by the ends that like they're really, oh sorry, like by the ends they're like really thinning out. But if you look at these, they're still kind of full. Oh sorry. If you look at these, they're still kind of full. And these are a lot like really, they're still in really good shape. I can like run my fingers through it really easily and it's no problem. Um, and the color hasn't faded or anything. So I'm really happy with the second set. I took better care. I obviously, I didn't just throw them in my closet. I didn't like, you know, I didn't just throw them anywhere. I kind of like made sure they were in a secure place. Whenever I put them away, I would like just do this, like make a little, a little hole and I would take a clip and I would just clip it like that and they were completely fine. They came out in like curls and stuff. Um, I only strained these on like 300 degrees with my strainer and like I said, I make sure I only use like, I wash it out with a little bit of shampoo and then use um, a hair mask to uh, condition it and then put a little bit of serum in it to make sh make sure like the ends are okay. So when I go to strain it, I just strain it and it's fine. Like it's really soft, you know, like really good quality. With the old ones, like, like I have a hard time just going through it. So now that I brushed it through a little more, it's okay, but it's not as easy as the other ones. So if you're, if you go to Rapunzel Sweden, they actually do um, extension matches, like color matching. So you could, I would recommend going in the sun, like in direct light, do indirect light, like in your bathroom or in your living room or something, like take a picture of your hair and then send it into them and they'll help you find the right color for your hair. Um, I think now, I haven't checked in a bit, but I think now that you can actually like request to do some type of ombre if they don't have it, but they have a lot of the popular kinds of like ombre, ombre, however you say it, um, in the shop. So if you want to go and check that out, I completely recommend it. I'll put a link in the description for you to go to. Um, but I kept the original color um, and I wore it with my other extensions underneath and there's a little bit of red at the end and that's just because bleed through for the dye but haven't I just straightened this like a couple of minutes ago it's still really flowy I didn't wash it I didn't put any product in it um, and it's still really good it's normal like it the ends are okay, they're not bad. It's a little frizzy, but that's because I didn't like add anything to it, but they're really good. So if you want, I would just recommend to get like a solid color. Um, if you really want to dye your own extensions, the number 60 is a really good one. If you want to go a higher color, a lighter color, it's a little bit more expensive for the length, I know. Um, but so far I'm like really pleased with Rapunzel of Sweden and honestly I don't think any other brand can really beat them and that's just my personal opinion. This is not like a paid advertisement or anything like that. This is my own recommendation. I'm probably going to keep buying from Rapunzel of Sweden for a really long time. Um, so like I don't, I don't have any problems with them. Um, dyeing the extensions is really, really good. Like, I've never had any problems as long as, like, you don't over, you know, like, use too much heat. Obviously, that's with any, you know, like, on your head, on your head, on a wig, whatever. Um, as long as you don't use too much heat, it's completely okay. I've never had a problem with any anything. Like, 
not the clips, not like the base that they use to make the clips uh, to put the hair on, like nothing. So I'm really pleased. It's a 10 out of 10 all the way, no problem. Um, so if you want, I'll put a link to the home page, the page of these extensions that I bought to dye, and the link to do to send in like uh, color matching. And if you're not sure of what color your hair matches or whatever, um, and I'll put in a link for the color ombre extensions as well. I hope that's enough information for you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Jamatane!